So, hello everyone. So, before coming here, did you know that most of our wetlands, rivers are having water quality crisis? Yes, this is the case. And I will explain why this is happening. So, you know, there will be uh, 9.4 billion of people in 2050 and we need to grow more food. So while we grow more food, we need to use more fertilizer and pesticide. And when you use those fertilizer and pesticide in the soil, it remains in the land for a certain period of time. And when we have the rain and snow, the, this transport, uh, these uh, nutrients get transported to the wetlands. And in the wetlands, there is algae and microorganisms. And when they get more food, they grow more and there is algal bloom. So this is the case for the lake area. You can see that in the lake area there is a huge algal bloom and causing annually 250 million economic loss, causing species death as well as creating a human health impact like disrupting the drinking water supply. So to, 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 to address this issue, there have been a history of implementing precision conservation activities at the ground level. However, like implementing laws, protocols, policies, and all those, there is a confusion in the implementations. Why? We have limited budget. We have a impact of climate change, which is causing more frequent and intense and irregular weather events. And that is causing, like, uh, helping us not to uh, plan properly. So in my research comes here. I will be using a precision conservation planning tool that will integrate the economic ecosystem service modeling and that will give more scenarios to the implementers and the farmers to implement the conservation practices at the ground level. We will be focusing on seven R's. One is right method, right practice at the right scale, right time and right approaches in the ground level so that our conservation practices get implemented at the ground level with highest impact. So. Ultimately, the research will contribute the gradual improvement of the conservation practices that will improve the water quality of the lakes and rivers and wetlands. In, initially, we are focusing on the improving the water quality of Lake Erie, and this tool has the potentiality to uh, scale up in, in other uh, lakes and rivers water quality improvement. This decision support system will get uh, has been recognized by the OMAFERA, and we are trying to improve this decision support systems for further scaling up. Thank you, everyone.